like Boohoo is one of those brands where it's very hit or miss. Like it genuinely depends on the day like that you're going on their website. So sometimes they'll go on their new in section and I'm like, this is not for me. But when I went on it the other day, I was like, this stuff is so good. Like there's some gorgeous summer pieces online at the moment. So I picked a few up and I'm really excited to show you them. I feel like I've not said this in a while, but if you guys are watching this video and you enjoy it and you're not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you hit that button down below. Um, and also if you don't mind hitting the thumbs up as well, because it helps my little channel be seen by lots more people. So hopefully we can grow our little family a bit bigger. I thought we would start off with this really gorgeous pink shirt. Now, let me tell you, this was an absolute bitch to steam. Like I genuinely spent about 40 minutes trying to get all the creases out. I don't think I fully succeeded, but it look, it looks a lot better than it did when it arrived. Um, but it's kind of like, you know the Zara shirt, the pink shirt that everyone has, and I feel like it's always sold out. This is like the Boohoo version of it. Um, it says it's oversized, so I picked up a size eight, but I don't know, I don't know if it's oversized enough for me. We'll see in the next clip because I hope that I love it because honestly, I've been wanting a pink shirt for so long. I'm actually so happy that this fits like in quite an oversized way because honestly, I was so worried that this is gonna look like a little tight shirt and it was just not gonna be a vibe. Um, obviously, you can do up these little buttons here, but I've just left them loose just because I can't really do it one-handed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, also, I wouldn't wear this outfit, obviously, with the shirt, but I have to say, for the price that it was, I think this is a really good piece to have. And um, it honestly does look exactly like the Zara ones. Like, I genuinely think that this is like the perfect dupe. Um, so, yeah. A very good start. I feel like this next dress, people are either gonna love or they're gonna hate. I personally love it. Um, so it's this gorgeous pastel knitted um, halter neck mini dress. And I just, I love these colors. I think they're so stunning. I think pastels are here to stay. Like they've been around for the past few summer seasons. And I think that should this dress like wash and you know, stay looking nice, I feel like you'll be able to rock this for a good few more years. I just love it, I love the colors. If you're going to anywhere in Europe, I think on like a nice late summer break, I think this is gonna be a dress that you need to put in your suitcase because it is so gorgeous. Isn't this just the cutest little dress? Um, I actually feel, because I have worn it before, I forgot how short it was, like it is quite short. Um, I don't think you can really see, but like it goes to quite like quite high on your thighs. But if you don't really mind that, then it's no big deal. Like it's just a very mini, mini dress. Um, I just love the colour of it. I think it's so cute. It's so summery. I'm actually gutted that they bought it out now. Like imagine, I wish that I had had this in June because I honestly think I would have worn it to death. Like it's so cute. And the fact that it's all these different colours, you can pair it with so much like pink blazers, like sage green blazers, blue blazers. There's so many different combos that I think you can do this outfit. So if you do get it, um, try and wear it as much as you can now, because I feel like, I feel like this is gonna, this could have very much been like the dress of the summer, because it is just really lovely. I can't stop looking at it. I'm looking at the viewfinder and then at the mirror and I'm like, oh, it's a pastel dream, I'm obsessed. We have a little neutral moment next. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly concerned that this top is gonna be a bit small for me. Um, and also it looks a bit see-through, so we will see in the try on what it looks like. Um, but it did look really nice on the model, which is why I picked it up. And I think it goes into like a halter neck style. So there will be a certain kind of person that can definitely pull this off. I just don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be me. Okay, I don't really understand this top, but it's not see-through. Like, I'm looking at myself in the camera, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and like, even though it's such a sheer fabric, it, it doesn't look that see-through. I don't know, maybe you guys can like, please don't zoom in, is what I'm trying to say, because um, I think this video is in 4K. But from what I can see, I don't think you can like, see my nips, so that's good. Um, I actually really like the top, it's very small, it's very much like, an oversized blazer moment. I feel like big statement pieces are probably gonna work this top to like distract from the fact that it's so tiny. Um, but other than that, I really like it. I like it with these jeans as well. I like this creamy neutral moment. I'm liking this. I love neutrals. Oh my God, honestly, I feel like me in like two months time, as soon as we start doing like autumn winter stuff, get ready for neutrals, just pure neutrals because 
I'm excited for it, I'm here for it. Sticking with teeny tiny little halter neck tops, I also picked up this very like 60s, 70s retro um, halter neck. I think this kind of fits in a very similar way to the first one. Um, it does have a bit more fabric going on, so um, I think, you know, it will provide a little bit more coverage. But with like a pair of pink jeans or like pink shorts and a really nice blazer, I feel like you could make such a nice outfit out of this. Um, or even if you're going to like a festival or something, because I know there's quite a few festivals happening um, in August, I feel like this could be a good piece for that. I actually forgot that this top like cinches in at the middle, so it does make it very small. It's kind of like wearing a bikini top. Um, I, d I don't know how I feel about it. I actually really like the pattern. But I'm like, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear this. I, I, you know what, on holiday, like I think it'd be a great top for a holiday. Um, but I don't know, maybe, I'll see if I can find a way of tying it, like without cinching it in too much, because I just do think it looks quite small, but obviously this is how thick it is. So I'm like, if I just wore it like that as a halter neck, it might look a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of undecided with this one. I thought that I would show you a pair of shoes next that I picked up. I love these so much and I really hope that they're comfortable. So they've got like these really different like triangular shaped heels. Can you kind of see that? Like when you look at these in person, you're like, these are such like an interesting shape of shoe, um, which is why I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be comfy, but I love the blue color as well. I don't own many like different color shoes. I feel like I just own like black, white, nude. Um, so I really wanted a blue pair. I also wanted a pink pair, which I'm still looking for. But yeah, fingers crossed these will look nice and feel nice on as well. Please ignore the state of my toenails and also the background. I haven't worked out where to film shoe clips yet, but these are the little blue ones. I think these are really sweet. They are not the most comfortable things in the world. Like maybe wear these when you're gonna be sitting down. So like at a bar or at a restaurant, I wouldn't wear these like out out just because I think you might get blisters, but I really like the, um, the chunky heel. I think they're really, really cool. They're so different. I feel like you guys are gonna love this next top. And I am so shocked that Boohoo actually made something like this because the fit of it, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got like this bra um, part here and then it goes into this long sleeve top. I just wouldn't have thought Boohoo would bring out something like this. It feels very like design heavy, um, which I love. So obviously you'll see it in the next clip. I did wear this the other day and I have to say it is gorgeous and genuinely like people could not believe when I said it was Boohoo. Like this is probably one of the best things that I've picked up from Boohoo ever. I actually can't with this top. Like it is just so gorgeous. I mean, can we take a moment? Like it doesn't look like Boohoo. Like I keep saying this to myself, I'm like, this is mad. It's just, it's such a well-designed top. Um, it's basically all held together by this tiny little button here. Um, but like at the back, it looks really nice as well. I am honestly obsessed with this. I'm gonna wear this so much. Like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I really hope Boohoo bring it out in like a cream, like creamy champagne color. Oh my God, imagine that. <gasps> a dream, I love this. This is like my fave thing, ha like hands down, my fave thing ever. The next item I picked up are these jeans. Um, I never know with Boohoo, like I don't really know how I feel about their denim. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. But I did actually get a pair of the PLT petite jeans and obviously PLT and Boohoo are like part of the same group. So I'm assuming if I like the PLT jeans, hopefully I like these Boohoo ones. So they're just like very basic um, blue jeans and then they've got a split hem, which I just think looks so good with a pair of heels. Like these are very much Kind of like night out jeans, I would say. Um, well, they don't have to be, but I just think they look nice when you want to show off your shoes. Like, these are the jeans to wear. And um, pick them up in a size six, which I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right decision, but we will find out. I hope this angle's okay, and I hope you can see them all right. Um, these are the jeans. I'm not going to lie. They are a little bit tight, like I'm sure you can see here. So the sizing does slightly differ from, um, from PLT because their jeans were fine. Uh, so yeah, I probably would have picked these up in an eight. Uh, I also, I don't know how I feel about, I don't know how I feel about them. I think it probably is all to do with the fitting because they probably are quite nice jeans. But yeah, I'm not too sure about these. They just feel so tight. Like I literally can't even bend down. Like I went to grab my phone just before this clip and I was like, oh, that, that is not happening. So yeah. Not sure. We have another very colorful item next. 
in the form of this like cut out mini dress. I feel like this is going to look really nice on. I don't know why, I don't normally pick up things like this, but it was another thing that I looked at and the model kind of sold it to me and I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Um, I really like the design on this, it's kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it, this kind of like watercolour effect. Um, I just think it looks really, really cool. So, I don't know, I've never worn anything really quite like this, but um, we will see whether this was the right decision. I really hope I'm wearing this properly. It's kind of got like these ruching bits on the side, which I think you kind of like make into a circle. Um, I think it looks all right, doesn't it? I actually really love this. This is such a good festival dress. I am going, I can't even remember the name of it, but I'm going to the festival like late August. And I feel like this is probably a good outfit for that. Um, there is a bit, because where you ruched on the sides, it kind of like, goes into this weird ruched bit in the middle, which I don't know if that's correct. So obviously I'll link everything down below. So if I'm wearing it completely wrong, then at least the model will be wearing it correctly. But I think this is really lovely. Next up is this little black halter neck top. I um, I feel like you can never have enough um, halter necks, especially like black ones. I'm pretty sure I own like this one, maybe one more, and that's about it. And I honestly wear tops like this like every day, just when I'm like chilling or like when I'm running errands, I just find it easy to wear just quite simple tops like this. And um, I'm hoping that this isn't gonna be too low cut because I, I have an outfit plan for this. So like this top with a nice blazer and like some smart trousers, like more of a sophisticated vibe. Um, I also really like the texture of this fabric. It's kind of like a ribbed effect. And I just think ribbed effects they look a lot more expensive than if they were just like plain. Um, so fingers crossed, this won't be too BB. I mean, it's not it's not a big deal if it is, but I'm, I, I am looking for something a little bit more sophisticated looking. This top is not really giving me the full fantasy that I was hoping for. I tried to tie it up like just as a standard halter neck and it didn't look good. Um, it just looked, I don't know the word, like it just did not look very nice. It just looked kind of frumpy. So I've gone for this like crossover effect, which I do think looks a bit better, although it's a little bit gapy. So yeah, I don't know, like I honestly, I actually convinced myself that this top was gonna look so good on. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not doing it for me. I guess I could tie this bit tighter. Um, I don't am I overthinking it? I don't know. Oh. I'm actually kind of gutted because I really did think this top was going to be like 10 out of 10. I have a feeling that over the next few months we are going to see so many baseball jackets. So maybe stock up now, buy a couple that you love because I feel like these are going to sell out everywhere. As soon as autumn hits, like these are going to be gone. Um, and I think Boohoo, they're bringing out quite a few, like the Madison Beer Collection that was released, I think it was a few days ago, and um, that had quite a few like baseball jackets. So I picked up this one, I don't know if this is from the collection or just one that I saw, but I really love the beige and black. Um, I'm not one of those people, I don't think you'll catch me in like a red bomber jacket, maybe, but I think just like these neutral tones are the way I'm gonna be going for like the colder months. But yeah, I really like this. I picked it up in a UK 10, just cause I want it slightly more oversized, but I think that this is actually gonna be worn a lot and the quality seems pretty good actually. Okay, what do you guys think? Like I know this is nothing, like this is not what I would usually wear um, and I don't think this is really the outfit to wear it with, but uh, you know, it's cute. It's cute, isn't it? Um, I just, I don't think I'm cool enough to pull off this trend and that breaks my heart and I don't understand why I'm not. I wish I was, but yeah, it's probably, maybe, maybe like when I'm in the autumn winter mindset, I'll be fine, but I don't know. Um, it feels really good quality and it's very warm, like my flat is hot, so I definitely will be sweating in this in a second, but um, yeah, I think it's nice and the quality is really, really good, like honestly, you would not guess this is boohoo quality, like the way it's fully lined, um, it's fully lined the whole way through. And um, yeah, I just, I like the design of this. It's also got a cute little number six. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that references anything, but it's sweet. God, honestly, filming where I film is a nightmare. Like the sun is just in and out. It controls the entire lighting. So apologies for the clips that slightly differ. Um, but this next dress, I think I'm gonna have to work out 
how to wear this. I'm gonna have to look on the website because I've been trying to do it for the last five minutes and I'm really struggling. So um, this is it so far. Hopefully it will look nice on, um, but honestly, it's completely throwing me like these, I think I've twisted this so many times now that I don't even know if it's salvageable. Okay, I worked out how the dress works. So you basically like slip the bottom bit on and then like throw this over your head and then you obviously have the chains at the back. I don't know if the chains are meant to be crossed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I think I've got this on right, but I'm not too sure. But it is actually really nice. I was worried it was gonna be a bit see-through because the fabric is quite sheer, but with like the filming lights on, I don't think it's too bad. Um, so yeah, it's also got like this little ruching bit at the bottom of like this tie, which I think is very sweet. Like this is a really nice night out dress, I think. Um, and yeah, I think the fit's nice as well. Like I like this kind of draping effect here. Like it's, it's quite comfortable, like I don't mind wearing this and because my flat is so hot these chains on my back are actually cooling me down it's a lovely feeling i'm not gonna lie like i was saying earlier i definitely do not need another black pair of shoes but these are quite different like i like the design of them they've kind of got this flip-flop style underneath and then it's covered by this mesh fabric um and they've also got a really nice square tie which i love i think these look quite expensive obviously i've not tried them on yet so i don't know what they look like when they're on but from initial impressions these look like they, like I wouldn't guess that these are from Boohoo. So we, we will see, we will see. Okay, these are literally a million times more comfortable than the blue ones. Like these are really comfy. I'm actually very surprised. I don't know how I feel about the look of them. I feel like this is something that maybe you guys can let me know. I don't know if they're like fashion, fashion-y enough. I don't know, maybe it's because I've just not had something like these, but yeah please do let me know your thoughts i mean i might just keep them just purely for the absolute comfort because these feel lovely i feel like if you guys have watched my channel um for a while you'll know that i love a little corset top and my favorite place to get corset tops is misguided but i saw this one on the boohoo website and the fit of it looks quite interesting it's not a real corset like it's not like misguided where there's actual boning um it's just like this fake effect so as you can see like there's no boning in that it's just a just a very kind of simple top but if it does look like a corset that would be great because sometimes those corset tops like when you're sat down the boning can kind of poke into you so if this you know gives the right effect i feel like this is going to be a really comfortable way of like wearing a corset illusion top without actually like hurting so yeah i i'm hoping that this looks nice and i also like this kind of triangular bit up here just i don't know i think this is gonna be a good top with jeans i don't know why i didn't realize this before but this top is actually in like a bandage material whenever i wear bandage it makes me think of like you know the dresses we wore in like 2014 2015 um it's giving me that kind of vibe but i think where it is bandage it's giving it's giving a nice shape it feels very secure on like it doesn't feel like it's going to slip off or fall at all um and i actually i think it really does look like the misguided corset tops um, just the way that they've done like this thick stitching here. I think it works. Like I know it's not a real corset, but I think it, it works and I like it. Um, I'll show you the back as well. But yeah, I feel really comfortable in this. Um, obviously, I think the fabric isn't like, it's, it's not thin obviously because it's bandage, but I probably would wear nipple pads with it just because I feel like I can kind of see, I don't know, I, I don't feel... <laughs> Even, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just feel like I probably would wear nipple pads with this, what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I actually think this is quite nice. It's nicer, I think it's nicer than what I expected it was gonna be. I'm really hoping that this next top fits because I absolutely love it. Like, look at this. It's kind of like this linen effect, little crop top. It's giving me very much like holiday vibes. Um, I picked it up in a size eight, which is normally like my size in Boohoo, but this does look very, very small. And like, it has got a bit of stretch, but not a huge amount. So I really hope this fits because I actually love it. Um, but if not, I will obviously put a picture up of the model wearing it so you can kind of see. But I just love it. I love this ring detailing as well. Like, I think this is, again, kind of like quite a few of the pieces today. You wouldn't guess it was Boohoo um, just because of like the amount of detailing. So... Please everyone cross your fingers that there will be a next clip of me wearing this. Okay, definitely, definitely size up in this top because it was a bit of a squeeze, but now that it's on, I mean, isn't this really beautiful? Like I 
love it. I'm just, I'm trying to like fiddle around and get this area looking nice, but I think it's stunning. I love the kind of like floaty sleeves. I think this is a beautiful top. Um, so I would definitely, definitely recommend you guys, but yeah, definitely do go up one size, especially if you are, so I'm like a D cup with boobs and that's, that was the struggle to be honest. It was, it was the boobs. Um, so if you're like above maybe like a C slash D, definitely do size up. If not, you'll probably be fine. Um, but yeah, very, very cute. Moving on to the final piece now. Um, I'm kind of gutted about the skirt. I'm not going to lie because I did think that it was going to be a bit more opaque. I think this is more of like a beach cover up, um, which to be fair, like it is really cute. Like I would not mind wearing this, you know, over the top of a bikini. Um, but I really love the color. I love this creamy shade. I think it's gorgeous. And I really like the kind of ruche detailing as well. So even though I probably won't be able to wear it as like a summer skirt, hopefully if I manage to get away this year, I'll get some use out of it. This is a really sweet little beach cover up. Like it definitely is a beach cover up and not a skirt. Um, I am keeping my legs crossed because otherwise it has got quite a big slit and I don't want to show my pants off on the internet because they're not very nice um but yeah sweet little skirt good if you're going on holiday um but i'm gonna take it off because i'm sure my neighbors are probably looking at me like what's what's this girl wearing and that is everything that i picked up from boohoo today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for taking the time to watch and i'll see you in the next one bye